happy new year. My name is Christina Grozik and maybe you've sat in on one of the webinars I've done on synchronicity or spirit animals or how to raise your vibration or sound matters. So uh, today we are going to take a little bit different of a journey. We are going to do a sound relaxation journey. So I hope you will join me. We're going to get started here in a few moments. If you're looking for a way to reduce anxiety, to focus and calm the mind, it's like a massage for your nervous system. Think of it in terms of that. And you may want to, if you have earbuds or headphones, you may want to grab them. And nothing's really comparable to the sound in person, but the intention of it is still very much there. And we know how important the intention is. So you'll get the gist of the sound. We will send the intention off to clear some space, to clear and calm the mind, connect with the breath, connect with the universe, right? So that will be our intention but the earbuds may help improve the sound quality a little bit. A few other things you may want to grab in preparing for it is at one point I will ask you to go ahead and lay down or find a very comfortable seated position. If you do choose to lay down, you may want to grab a bolster for under your knees. If you don't have a bolster, maybe something like a rolled blanket or even a couch cushion you could put under there to help Take off some of the pressure from that lower back. A pillow for the head might be nice. Uh, maybe an eye pillow or even a washcloth to cover the eyes to avoid any visual distractions. Even though the eyes are closed, we can still see those shadows and the light moving, right? If you've got the TV on, you might want to turn it off. Any other distractions that we have along the way, you might want to eliminate as many of those as possible. And if you say, well, you know, a siren just went by or a helicopter or an airplane or a train, use that as practice. So as we walk on our journey through life, many distractions will come up on our path. Sometimes we get stuck there, but when we look at that distraction and we say, okay, this is a distraction. It's taking me away from where I want to go and beyond that. There's all kinds of wonderful things. So recognize the distraction. Okay, there's a siren going by. No attachment, let it go. Come back to the journey and do that with your breath. So we'll do some breath work here in a little bit too. But getting into a new year, a new year means new things. Often resolutions are set and goals are made and maybe lifestyle changes, maybe working on breaking some habits maybe an exercise routine or a change of diet, right? There's a lot of different things that we do in the new year sometimes to prepare. And I've had people tell me that, you know, they've had a certain idea of how they wanted things to go. And one day, you know, they ate the food they said they weren't gonna eat anymore, or they didn't work out when they said they were going to. And their response is, well, I blew it. I guess I'll just wait until next year. Well, here's the thing is every moment, every moment is an opportunity to change and go in the direction that we would like to shape our world. So if you've taken a webinar or workshop or seen me on a presentation, you have probably heard me say this. Every thought, every word, every action, it's all energy, it's vibration, right? It's an opportunity to make a change in the direction that we want to go because we are co-creating our world and we are co-creating the world that we all share together, right? This collective that we are all a part of. So, you know, you may not have to wait until the new year. Don't get discouraged if you eat that food that you said you're not going to eat or if that habit creeps up and you did the habit again and you're like, ah, gotta wait now. You know what? You can start at any time. So whether it's this moment, the next moment, an hour from now, tomorrow, right? It's still an opportunity to move in the direction that you would like to see the change. So I thought I would share that with you. I felt inspired to do so. So maybe that will resonate with someone out there and they'll think I needed to hear that today, hopefully. So we are moving into our sound journey here. So if you gathered those items, go ahead and get them in place. Don't lay down quite yet. We're going to start with some breath work. So I invite you to either 
soften your gaze or close your eyes. And if you're curious about the sounds I play along the way and like what is making those sounds, you can always go back later and watch it. Right now, I would just invite you to really give yourself the gift of just allowing yourself to be, just be and breathe in this moment. And if we're watching what's going on, then we're thinking about it. So just let it go, just let it go. So close your eyes or soften your gaze if you haven't done so yet. And we'll take a breath in, maybe through our nose if we can, really filling the chest up with the breath, dropping the breath into the belly, filling the belly. Go ahead and soften the belly and the chest and release the breath. A breath in, really slow and steady on the breath, like a wave moving in and out, release. A breath in and release. Do a few on your own. Really bring your attention, your focus to the breath, how the body feels as the breath is moving through the body and releasing the breath. We are going to do a four count breath. So take a breath in, two, three, four, and then hold, two, three, four, and release, two, three, four, and in, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, and release, two, Three, four. Do a few more on your own. With each inhale, imagine that you are inviting all of the gifts that the universe already has in store for you. You are inviting them into your path with the inhale. As you hold the breath, you're creating space and a container for them to be received. And as you release the breath, you're letting go of anything that may be holding you back from receiving these gifts. So we breathe in, we invite, we welcome, we hold, we create a container and space to receive, and we let go with the exhale. A few more on your own. position. So this is the time I invite you to go ahead and lay down if you would like using the props we talked about before, if you have any. Um, if you're in a seated position, just go ahead and get comfortable. Close the eyes or soften the gaze. And you'll know when the sound journey has concluded when you hear the sound of the tingshaws three times. They sound like this. And then I will slowly bring you back into your space. So just let yourself go. If the mind chatter starts at any time, go ahead and connect with that breath, following the breath and allowing the breath to bring you back to the present moment. And I will see you in a little bit.
Next inhale, imagine that you are breathing in the light, a bright, radiant light. And the breath is carrying the light through your body. With each breath, the light continues to move, growing stronger throughout the body, illuminating and radiating the body. A breath in, imagine the breath going to the crown of the head, the very top of the head. It fills the entire top of the head with a bright, radiant light, clearing out anything that may be preventing you from connecting with the divine, with the universe, and the gifts that the universe has in store for you. The entire crown of the head beaming with the divine radiant light. As you continue breathing, move the breath down the forehead, the eyebrows, the eyes, the nose, the lips, the chin, back the head, the light pours down covering the entire back of the head. The light continues to move down the sides of the head. The entire head is filled with a divine, radiant, beautiful light. Clearing anything that may be blocking you from finding the guidance that you need on your path, from having the awareness from listening to the sounds, from seeing the signs, the light clears anything preventing you from recognizing these things. We continue breathing and the light continues to move with the breath, carried like the wind, down through the neck, the entire neck is filled with light, pouring into the shoulders, filling the shoulders, with a beautiful beaming radiant light lifting any weight that you may be carrying in the shoulders often we can feel stress on our shoulders feeling like we're being weighed down allow this light in the breath to lift anything that may be weighing you down from the shoulders the entire head the neck the shoulders beaming and filled with the divine radiant light. We continue our breath, moving it down both arms, into the hands, through the fingertips. The arms are filled with the divine radiant light, the hands through the fingertips. We come back to the shoulders and allow the light to start pouring down into the torso. Filling the heart, the light is filling the heart, allowing the heart to open up, open up, allowing us to love ourselves, to love others, and to receive love. Releasing anything that may be preventing us from giving that. Imagine that the heart is filled with light. Imagine the heart is traveling light, released from anything preventing us 
from being in a space of love. We continue breathing and the breath continues moving into the solar plexus. The breath and the light connect in our solar plexus with our internal light. That center that keeps us going on our path. The center that's like the sun within, like the stars within. After all, we are made from star matter. So allow your light to shine bright. Allow the light that you're moving through your system right now to reinvigorate, rejuvenate, refresh that internal light at the solar plexus. You continue breathing and the light continues moving down into the sacral space, allowing us to be flexible on our path like water, moving with flexibility as we go. We pour the light down into the pelvic area, allowing ourselves to clear out anything that may be preventing us from feeling grounded and rooted, from feeling safe and steady. The head, the neck, the shoulders, the arms through the fingertips, the torso, filled with a beautiful, radiant divine light. We continue breathing and we continue moving the light, glowing and glowing, shining bright, moving down both legs, to the ankles, the feet, through the toes. Both legs, ankles, feet, and toes filled with light. From the crown of the head, take a breath in. Notice the light from the crown of the head, through the entire head, the neck, the shoulders, the arms, through the fingertips, the torso, the legs, ankles, feet, and toes. The entire body from the crown of the head down through the toes filled with light. Traveling light on our paths, letting go of those things that do not serve us. We are lights. We are light. Lights. Everything within us working together as one energy pulsating and moving throughout our systems, shining brightly, rejuvenating, revitalizing, refreshing our systems. Go ahead and begin to bring your awareness to your fingers and your toes, slowly and gently. Go ahead and move them, wiggle your toes, move your fingers. Feel the sensation, feel the energy throughout. And perhaps to come back into our space and awaken the body, move from side to side gently. Slow and steady, gentle movements. Feeling the energy moving throughout. And come to stillness. On the next breath in, go ahead and either raise your hands above your head or maybe they come out in front of you. So take a breath in, arms come up again, either above the head or in front of you. Spread the fingertips. Go ahead and stretch, reach, 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 stretch, expand and release and soften. Drop the arms, soften the body. Exhale. Again, a big breath in, filling the activation of the energy, the vibration within, everything working together, one light source working together in harmony. And release, let it go, drop the arms. Again, a big breath in, arms come up, we extend, we're gonna stretch throughout the body. Ah, from the fingertips all the way down the arms, from the crown of the head all the way down the body, through the toes, fill the activation and the lines of energy moving throughout. Go ahead and relax and release and let go. 
And when you are ready, and only when you're ready, we'll meet in a seated position. So if you're laying down, maybe roll onto one side and allow your body to come back into the space. If you are seated, go ahead, tall spine. Connecting with your breath again when you are in a seated space. Focus on your breath. Focus on how it feels within the body. All right, hands come to prayer positions. Thumbs are together. They go to the heart center. Fingertips pointing to the sky. We take a breath in, big breath in, filling the rise of the chest and the belly. And release, let it go. It's our own sound, right? Our breath, our own sound. A breath in. And release. Giving gratitude for this moment for the time that we were able to find stillness. Another breath in, and release. Shoot the arms up above the head, bring them to the sides, the palms flip to the ceiling or the sky. Go ahead and place them on your knees or your thighs. Tall spine, crown of the head, it shines to the sky. We're gonna take a breath in this time. We will release within OM. So breath in and release within OM. OM. Our own sound again. All right, our sound relaxation journey has concluded. Stay hydrated today. Maybe take a quiet day if you can. Know that you can always come back to this space through connecting with your breath and even that vocal toning of the OM. So I just want to thank everybody at the ARE for all of the hard work that you do. And Edgar Casey actually said in one of his readings that life itself is manifested form is vibration. So life itself in manifested form is vibration of which light is a part. So travel light, be well, and thank you for sharing your time and your energy with me. Have a great day.